Plant hormones control plant growth and plant responses to the environment, and their research has been important for agricultural advancement in the recent past. Many plant hormones have been unearthed and used to increase crop yield and encourage desirable plant characteristics. For instance, seedless grapes have been produced by soaking unpollinated grapes in a solution of the plant growth hormone gibberellin. Dr. Sito hopes to spark the next green revolution with revelations on the group of plant hormones he is researching, strigolactones. Strigolactones reside in plant roots and primarily function to signal or call out to mycorrhizal fungi, which symbiotically live on plant roots. Unfortunately, any seeds of the parasitic weed Striga lying close by would also detect strigolactones, understand that a host is nearby, and awaken to steal water and nutrients from the host's roots. In this way, Striga devastates crops worldwide, creating food security issues. To do away with Striga, one must, therefore, stop strigolactone production in crop roots. However, this would hurt the symbiotic relationship of the crop with mycorrhizal fungi, which it thrives on. This would also impact the part of its growth regulating system that is controlled by strigolactones. To find a solution, Dr. Sito's team is undertaking chemical and biological studies aimed at clarifying the molecular mechanisms behind strigolactone functioning in detail. Based on their findings, the team wishes to breed plants that can deter striga without either keeping away the mycorrhizal fungi or disrupting plant growth or affecting any other hormone functions. The clarification of these complex mechanisms will contribute to the next green revolution, which could prevent heavy crop losses annually. But Dr. Sito believes that plant hormone research could change the fate of humanity if only more people become interested in the field.